Okay, so today we're going to go over setting up in the proper position for a left adductor pullback. Uh, so this is a small, simple exercise, but if you slip and, and lose position in, in any plane of motions, either front to back or side to side or rotationally, it's pretty easy to lose the muscles that you want to be working uh, and, and compensate with other ones. So Dan's here, he's set up in, in the 90-90 position. Has his feet on the wall, a ball between his knees to help give him some, or a ball between his feet to give him some support, and this towel in between his knees. So Dan's gonna make sure his first move is gonna be to take a breath in through his nose, take a full breath out. He's gonna feel his left ribs, his top ribs, move all the way back and all the way down. You could take your left hand and bring it to your left lower ribs. And as you take that breath out, you're gonna feel ribs sink down and back. Drive your left shoulder down and start to feel some of your left outer abs work. Again, you got some left abs working right there. And you can either keep your hand there as feedback for your ribs or come back to the table for support. And dance and lay here and keep breathing. So now Dan's pretty secure in the sagittal plane. He's pretty secure front to back. He has his left abs working. He's not overextending through his low back. Now Dan's gonna keep breathing, he's gonna keep his left abs. And we're gonna set up and make sure he's pretty secure in the frontal plane for this next piece. So as Dan keeps breathing, he's gonna think about taking his left hip, his left pocket, and hiking it up towards his left shoulder. Good, Dan, and let's keep your left ribs back. His left pocket stays hiked up. And you can take his left shoulder and drive it down towards, left, towards his left hip as well. Good. And then you still have your left abs working. Good. So you see, we're just setting the stage. He's not even shifting back into his left hip. We're making sure when he goes to shift back, that he'll be able to do so properly with his adductor and get into his posterior capsule without overextending through his low back or cheating with a hip flexor. Now, the last piece in setting the stage, once you have your ribs back on the left and you have your left hip hiked up, and make sure he has good foot contact with the wall. So here, keep breathing, Dan. Let's just focus on your left heel pushing through the wall. Good, and that may engage some hamstring as you go. So three big checkpoints here setting up for the adductor pullback. Your left ribs are all the way back and all the way anchored down. So you have the sagittal plane nice and secure. Your left ribs all the way down and back. And your left heel pushing through the wall. You'll just finish your setup by making sure your left hip is hiked up towards your left shoulder. Good. I think you have a string. It's pulling your left pocket up. Dan, pull your left pocket up more towards your shoulder. Hike up, hike up. Good. And your left shoulder is dropping down towards your left hip. Good. And once you have those three checkpoints, you'll be able to start working in to shifting back into your left hip while using left adductor.